Hello, this is going to be the first part in a series on how to install and set up Ubuntu server on any old computer you have laying around your home or something to use as a home server or if you're a business p person, a um, office intranet type thing. I'm going to assume that you've already downloaded and burned the um, CD to a disk. I'm going to be um, the Ubuntu server CD. I'm going to be using a virtual machine with it loaded in just because it's a lot easier for me. So so pick your language and then we'll get to the next step. So after you select your language, just hit enter to start up the um, Ubuntu server installer. Alright, so while the installer loads, I'm going to uh, stop recording and get back when it's done. Alright, so just select your language, English. US for me, whatever you want. Um, and it's going to ask to, um, if you want it to automatically try and determine what keyboard layout. You have, I hit no just because I know what I have and it's quicker. So US, US standard. Alright, now it's going to show a lot of dialog boxes with um, progress bar, so I'm just going to get back to when there's a point where I can help you make a decision. So now pick your host name, that's like the name of your server basically. Now it's going to set up the clock. This doesn't take too long, so I'm not going to stop the re recording. Then when it's done doing this, it's going to ask what time zone you live in. I live in the eastern time zone, so there we go. And and another progress bar, so I'll get back to you when it gets to another menu. So just choose to format the entire hard drive and install the Ubuntu server up to it, and I'll get back to you at the uh, next step. So just confirm the formatting, partitioning stuff on the hard drive, and click OK. So after a long wait and a lot of dialog boxes, it's going to ask you for your full name of the user, you don't need to, do, to actually type it in and then I'm just doing screencast mm -hmm. then it's going to ask for your username and a password, I'm just doing password and the username is screen name just because not screen name, screencast so password for the password Okay, type it in again. Now it's going to ask you if you want to encrypt your home directory. Just say no. It's going to ask for proxy information. Chances are you don't have one, so just say no. Or just leave it blank and hit continue. It's going to ask you how you want to manage updates and stuff. I just say install security updates automatically, or if you want to pay for the landscape service thing. Not landscape is in yards. Um, it's a web-based management system of your server. Okay, so go down to the LAMP server option, hit space to select it, and then go down to the Open SSH server option, hit space to select as well, then hit tab and enter to continue. So now type in the um, password for the root MySQL user. At this point, you might want to create a text file where you're, type, where you're keeping track of all the usernames and passwords you have set up. So just type in a password and hit enter to continue. At this point, it should just be leave it alone and it'll install. Um, when it's done, it'll you know it'll ask you to reboot and if it automatically opens up the CD tray, take the CD out. If it doesn't, eject it and then reboot it. It should boot up into your Ubuntu server. Thanks for watching and hope you watch part two.